Chuckload of Comics is brought to you by Cold War Games, creators of Squarriors, Fight Your Friends, and Lady Death Last Stand. For more information, visit coldwar.us. So guys, moving on, we like every now and again, when a movie's coming out, uh, we like to read Twitter reactions. Mm -hmm. This week is a massive piece of Twitter news right now. So Spider-Man Far From Home. Mm -hmm. The critic uh, reviews have not, the embargo has not been lifted, okay. but they did lift the social media embargo. Interesting. So, and they haven't, they haven't even premiered the movie yet. The, premier, the movie premieres next Thursday in Hollywood, but a small handful of critics have okay. gone and seen critic screenings. They uh, allowed them to just kind of give their basic thoughts on Twitter. They can't do full reviews yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're saving these reviews because there's some massive spoilers. You probably heard wow. this online. We're going to go ahead and read the Twitter reactions, and they are glowing. Yay! They are amazingly positive. Let's go yes. ahead and get right into them. First one comes from Sean O'Connell. He writes, okay, friends, Spider-Man Far From Home is jaw-dropping. First half is a lot of fun, coasting on the good vibes of the Homecoming cast, but that second half is extraordinary in all caps, delivering the best Spidey action ever, most shocking ending in a Spider-Man movie ever. Fans will flip out. Wow. Most shocking ending. In just a Spider-Man movie? In just a Spider-Man movie. This <laughs> is the most shocking like, oh ending in any Spider-Man movie. Well, that, that's okay. That's still, that's insane. That's, that's insanely awesome, man. Review. Well, the next one comes from Kevin McCarthy, who writes, Far From Home has dethroned Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 and is now favorite Spider-Man film. I think he meant my favorite Spider-Man film. <laughs> um, what's insane is that I can't even tell you why I'm so in love with this film because it would be a spoiler. Gyllenhaal is incredible. Holland reconfirms as the best Spidey to date. Amazing. Wow. Gyllenhaal crushes it, apparently. He said he's incredible. That's so crazy to me because when I first ha found out that he was cast for Mysterio, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And then I saw the first trailer right. and I was totally, totally into yeah, it. He said he dethroned perfect. Sam Raimi's uh, Spider-Man 2 as the best Spider-Man movie oh, ever. Oh, poor Toby. He's like, he's so upset. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's going to be in the ending. Well, the next one comes from Stephen Weintraub. We uh, quote him a lot on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the head of Collider. Dot com. He wrote, absolutely loved Spider-Man Far From Home, captures the spirit of the comics and mixes in some amazing movie magic. The second the film ended, I wanted to watch it again. Jake Gyllenhaal is fantastic as Mysterio. Again, Jake Gyllenhaal. Second nod to Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, Steve Weintraub went on to write. He was so excited, he, he had to <laughs> retweet his own tweet. He said, I know you hear this all the time, but I'm telling you, avoid spoilers on Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh you will enjoy all the film. You will enjoy the film so much more. So guys, <laughs> be super careful about spoilers in yeah, this movie. Stay off the internet for a couple weeks here and if you, you see, see a picture of Spider-Man, just scroll right past it. Stay yeah. out of the comment sections on, on social media. We don't yeah. need people spreading spoilers because apparently it's a very spoiler heavy film. Oh my gosh. Well, this last one comes from Eric Davis. Eric Davis writes, Spider-Man Far From Home is funny, exciting, romantic, goofy, and follows Homecoming in being this brilliant ground level look at Spidey's world and how the events of Avengers Endgame impacted everyday life. Lots of twists and turns, plus some adorable summer romances too. I'm a big fan. Eric Davis also went on to write. <laughs> he still wanted to add to his his tweet. Uh -huh. He went on to write. Also, yes, of course, stay for the credits. And while, and while I will say nothing of what you will see, staying for the credits has never been as important and eventful as it is for this particular film. So don't go anywhere. That's what? that's the most amazing thing I've <laughs> heard from all of these Twitter views. Oh my god! There's going to be a post credit sequence that, according to Eric Davis, has never been as important in the entire history of the MCU. Wow. Shauna, what do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be introduction of Fantastic Four somehow. You think so? Maybe, maybe like with Doctor Doom or maybe... A like hint maybe to Doctor Doom? Something like that. Yeah, I think I think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. It, even if it's something as simple as turning the Avengers Tower into the Baxter yeah, Building. Yeah. Something, something very like simple like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be totally... Right. Not. It doesn't have to be a character on screen. It could just be a nod to mm -hmm. it in that like the future, you know. Oh my yep. gosh, this is yep. going Or it could announce the <laughs> next big bag, the next big bad of Phase 4 and 5 of the MCU. Yeah. Just like what they did at the end of uh, Avengers when Thanos did his little head turn. It That's could be, true. this is going to be the next guy. Oh the next big villain who's going to be the force to be reckoned with in the next ah. Phase 4 and Phase 5 of the MCU. I can't wait. I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm really worried about spoilers. I know. Crazy worried. I think your theory is right. 
you don't have to rehash it, but... <laughs> oh, my theory about... Uh, it's not really my theory. It's all over the internet, but about uh, <laughs> how Nick Fury isn't actually Nick Fury in this movie. Yeah. It's actually uh, the chameleon. Because Mysterio is not a good guy. He's a bad guy. And of course, Come the Mysterio, is, he's, he looks like he's going to be a good guy in the trailers. Yeah. He's not going to be a good guy. And he's why? pulling the wool over everybody's eyes. Exactly. Like it just, I, I think you're right. I think that's why it's big spoiler. What if Nick movie? Fury's a scroll? <gasps> I don't know. It, it'd be cooler <laughs> if he was a Spider-Man. But he was Chameleon, classic Chameleon Spider-Man villain awesome. from Spider-Man number one. You're going to be uh, so disappointed if you see this movie and you're right. <laughs> I know. I'll be like, shit, I called that. He's like, I knew that's what was going to happen. But that's so okay. guys, let us know what you think. How ex- I mean, we know you're excited. How excited are you? What do you think the post credit sequence could be? What do you think this shocking ending could be? Yeah. Let's fan theorize in the comment section, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. So, our last big story of the week. <laughs> I If I had a cake full of candles Aww. I would bring it out and I would present it to Todd McFarlane yes. Spawn issue 301 comes out this September oh my goodness which makes Spawn the longest running creator owned comic book in history dethroning wow. Cerebus wow. my brother Andy is one of his favorite comic books uh, Cerebus is a little aardvark uh, uh, he's like he's like Howard the Duck but he's an aardvark so cool.